Welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick Red. In this video, I'm going to talk about the three keys to actually making deep and meaningful connections with new people. And if you've been having a hard time actually building a like-minded group of individuals around you, if you've been having a hard time actually making meaningful connections that are beyond just the surface level, then this is the perfect video for you. So if you're not interested in that and you'd want to miss out on all these benefits, click away right now, but let's hop right into this. So my name is Patrick Red. I run a 10 person team where we help professionals build meaningful relationships with high status men and beautiful women without sacrificing time for their business. And over the last two years, I've seen time and time again that people have a very hard time building meaningful connections, right? It's not just about meeting new people, but it's about making deep connections that are actually gonna leave you more and more fulfilled. And because of that, you know, people come and message me on Instagram at Coach Patrick Red. And uh, they're like, hey, Pat, um, I keep going out, I keep meeting new people, but it never brings me into a relationship that I'm really proud of. It never brings me the type of relationship that I thought that going out for two to three years would actually bring me. And that's when guys finally come to me, and I feel like I'm the guy that people come to when they've tried other options, when they've tried other online coaching, when they've tried to do this by themselves, and they simply haven't gotten the results or at the level that they want. Either they've gotten some results, but it fell off after a little bit, they've gotten some results, but it's not exactly where they want to be, or they just be able to have somebody that can save them all the trial and error of trying to figure this stuff out for themselves. So I really wanna just give you those three keys. The first key is that you have to start being interested in the people that you're seeing on a day-to-day -day basis, the people that you think are not interesting. When you're interested in other people, you always have something to learn. You're always a student. You're always somebody who has something that maybe you didn't know anything about them, but you can always find out something interesting just by being curious. And the thing is that, let's say there's 100 people in the room and you think, oh yeah, none of those people have anything interesting to talk about, right? Well, if you don't start a conversation with any of those 100 people, well then you're never gonna have any type of meaningful relationship. Let's say instead that you're in a room of 100 people and you believe truly that every single person has something meaningful to talk about, and because of that, in an hour, you'd start 30 different conversations. Now, maybe 29 of them had absolutely nothing interesting to talk about, and you would never get to know them on a deeper level, but that one person, that one introduction could really change the rest of your life. I'm sitting over here in this amazing penthouse over here in Medellin, Colombia. I thought it'd be really cool to shoot a video because one of the guys that I just met that's renting out this place really is a guy who has changed my life. Opened my mind to you know 0% uh, capital gains tax over in Puerto Rico, 4% uh, income tax over in Puerto Rico as well. And they've really opened up my mind to something that I didn't even know. And assuming that you know less than you already do is always gonna be the best way of going into a new interaction, always being a student and always having something to learn from any situation that is possible, especially when you're going and talking to new people. Key number two is that you have to understand that you're one introduction away from whatever you want. Let's say that you want a new business connection. Let's say that you want to actually improve in your social life. Let's say that you're looking for a new girlfriend. You only need one meaningful relationship to really change your life in a very significant way. Now, when you look at that, you're like, oh, how can one person really change my life? But then let's look at your past, right? How has a past ex-girlfriend, how has a, a past best friend, how has a past teacher, how has a past mentor changed your life and put you on a new trajectory? And if you analyze what's happened in the past, not to sulk on it or not to you know mope about it, but to really look at what have been the most significant changes in your life, I realized that the most significant changes in my life could be attributed to people. That whenever I met somebody, it opened up my mind to something that I didn't even know. And when I had that suspension of my disbelief that I thought that somebody else could have something interesting to say, then I paired that with massive action. Whenever I went and talked to somebody, I realized that consistently one person is a way to make meaningful relationships. So that meaningful relationships, if you understand how to make meaningful relationships by taking action and starting conversations with every single person, then you will get to the point where you have that one person that really changes your social life and how you view your entire social life. Now, key number three is that you have to truly believe that you can change your life from whatever point that you're at right now. Even if you're super introverted, even if you don't have a lot of friends, even if you consistently make new connections, somebody you know ends up cheating you out of something or you know they end up lying or backstabbing you, that you can always transform your social life and your connections and your skill set at any point in your life. It's like basketball, right? If I'm practicing basketball and I practice it every single day, well, I'm gonna get better, right? But if Michael Jordan would just started out, he wasn't shooting three-point shots in the finals uh, to win the NBA finals, right? He started by practicing. And those practicing sessions, perfect practice, having a coach in those practicing sessions is what made him perfect, so to speak, in the games. And it's a long process, right? 
but there's a couple shortcuts that you can definitely take that'll sell you, save you a lot of time and money, time being our only limited resource that we have. And one of the best things is to actually get a coach, somebody who's already gone through that pain, somebody who's already created a step-by-step -step plan and a pathway to actually just execute on. And those were the most important things that I did because when I look back at it, you know, I was scared, I was afraid to go invest in a coach. And I realized I wasn't even scared because I knew I was gonna get the results. But what really scared me is that I wasn't gonna have an excuse for not having this part of my life handled anymore. That I knew that I was gonna have someone that would call me out on my BS when I wasn't taking action, when I wasn't doing the right thing, and would actually put my head straight to actually get the results and the social lifestyle that I wanted. Here's how you can get your free consultation call in five easy steps. Step one, you click the link down below. Step two, you're gonna watch that free training video. There's no email required. And then step three, you can book, uh, book a free consultation call and you can fill out your name, your email, and your phone number. Then step four, you're gonna fill out an application. That'll tell us a little bit more about your exact situation. Uh, the party is definitely starting. And then step five is that you can pick the exact time and date that you want us to call you from a 702 Las Vegas number. And at that time, we'll give you a call. We'll ask you a couple questions, see if you'd actually be a good fit to actually work with me and my team long term. And uh, yeah, we're not looking for people that don't believe in challenging the status quo. Do not contact me if you're lazy. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you soon. We're about to get this party started over here. Never procrastinate. Click that link down below and I'll talk to you very soon.